Nvidia and AMD are chasing each other back to back and it now seems like a never ending game. First we had the DLSS from Nvidia followed by FSR by AMD then Nvidia released the NIS, AMD then gave answer with RSR and now Nvidia has released TLDSR. In a recent blog post, Nvidia announced a couple of updates that includes the DLSS and Reflex support for God of War as well as the latest AI based technology DLDSR also known as Deep Learning Dynamics Super Resolution. This technology is not entirely new but an upgraded version of the already existing DSR that is available in the GeForce drivers. This is kind of similar to AMD's RSR which is also based on FSR. Nvidia just added another AI layer on the DSR to make a new downscaling technology that helps in visual improvement along with increase in performance. This AI layer is powered by Nvidia Tensor Cores and therefore will only work with the RTX graphics cards. So unlike NIS it is not going to work on every other GPU but it might work in a lot of games. Nvidia says that AI network used in it uses fewer input pixels and renders a game at a higher and more detailed resolution before it shrinks the final resolution back to the resolution of your monitor. According to Nvidia, 2.25 times of DLDSR is equivalent to 4 times of DSR, giving better quality image while also increasing the performance. Nvidia also posted a screenshot comparing the native DSR at 4 times and DLDSR at 2.25 times in Prey. From what I can see, it looks like DLDSR's image is actually more detailed than the rest of the two. And going by Nvidia's own benchmarks, it roughly gives the same performance as on the native 1080p resolution while giving almost a 50% increase in performance over the DSR set at 4 times. Great thing is that now the game will look like running on a much higher resolution while retaining the performance. If users want more performance, they can easily set the DLDSR to a lower scaling through Nvidia's control panel. All users need to do is head to the Manage 3D Settings tab and enable the DSR factors and there you can either set DLDSR to either 1.78 times TL or 2.25 times TL. This way higher performance can be achieved but how much we don't know and we have to wait just one day as DLDSR is set to release tomorrow. Next up we have a huge update from ASRock. In previous video, I talked about AMD being working on providing support to the 300 series motherboards to make the Ryzen 5000 series CPUs work on them. While most of the A320 chipset boards can now support the Ryzen 5000 CPUs, B350 and X370 chipset are still need to be updated. Looks like ASRock is the first one to enter the race. As reported by Komachi on Twitter, ASRock has added the support for Vermeer family on the X370 Pro 4 motherboard through the BIOS 1010 update. Users with this motherboard can now easily upgrade their old and Ryzen chips without changing their motherboard. ASRock has also listed all the CPUs from the Vermeer and Renoir family that can now be supported through the BIOS update. Now if you own a different motherboard, it's not very far from now when you can install a Ryzen 5000 series CPU on your 300 chipset motherboard. However, make no mistake, this all now depends on AMD. Let's hope that AMD delivers its promise which it made 5 years ago. And if you don't want to miss any kinds of updates related to these as well as other PC hardware, subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And I will see you next time.